Hey Donalex, what is the story behind Dame Natalie? And what does Natalie think about this art? What does Natalie think about it? You know, Natalie has played with Dame Natalie, and I don't think she commented on the art. So, uh, you asked for me to do the knights, and I decided I would focus on Dame Natalie because I didn't want to have to... Well, I mean, I was definitely not showing you every version of every knight because it's just a zillion images. And uh, as, as the the basic things about the night changed. I had to make 12, you know, uh, 12 new ones. Um, 10 new ones? 10 new ones. Uh, originally, there were 12. We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, so I just did Dame Natalie. So the original night attack is, again, very old. One of the very first cards in Dominion. Trash the top card of each other player's deck. And when I showed Dominion to Rio Grande... That was the state of the art night attack, and and it was in multiple sets in different forms with you know different perks on top of it. And uh, in Dark Ages, I had, which was then called War, I had decided to do a pile where they were all different, a pile where all the cards were different, and I made it night variants because then you know they would have names of knights. And at the time. I made Dark Ages, or War originally, the, the fourth expansion. By the time I made it, uh, exact 12 people had played Dominion. And so they each got a knight. And I was the randomizer pile, Sir X. Uh, <laughs> so that's the randomizer. Trash the top card of each other player's deck. Do something else moderately exciting, depending on the knight. And, uh, and so then we see Sir Justin. So Justin was somebody who played Dominion. And I don't really know Justin. He was someone I, I knew online uh, from a different community. And he had he was in town, and so he came over, and we played we played Dominion, because that's what I was working on. And uh, so he got a card. Uh, so Sir Justin, trash the top card of each other player's deck. You may gain a card costing two or less in your hand. I don't know why that doesn't say to your hand. So that, that was it. Uh, you know, I showed Dominion to Rio Grande, and... Uh, they decided to publish it, and eventually there I was working on Dark Ages and changed from war because Handsome Gluck didn't want a uh, war-themed expansion. And so now I knew that Trash the Top Card of Each Other Player's deck is no good. At the, in the early game, it's truly awful as it trashes their coppers and estates for them. It can lead to games where... You're completely shut out. You can only have five cards, and you know everyone has a five card hand, and two people have knights, and they're just going to play their knights every turn and keep everyone at five cards. <laughs> um, and you have to somehow deal with that. And this is totally cool if it's an exotic situation. Like I had fun in some of those games, but it's not something that you could just let a card do just by itself. Knight is in the game. We're going to have that experience. And sometimes, you know, someone is shut out and things are quite poor. And it's also super random where it could trash somebody's copper in somebody else's province. And uh, so these are all problems that are tricky to solve. And the main solution I came up with was this only trashing cards that cost from three to six. So it doesn't trash their junk and it doesn't trash their provinces. And so it's a much, it's a much evener thing it does. And then, of course, it's like, well, it could miss, so it looks at two cards, and that still misses. So this isn't the best version. Like, I think Barbarian is a much better implementation. And uh, because I was still worried that this would shut people out, although, I mean, it doesn't have that problem nearly so badly because, you know, it hits your two coppers and it misses, and you get to keep some cards, right? It didn't trash the coppers, so it never, it never actually eats everything. But I felt like it needed to have a built-in moat. And so we see this Dame Natalie with the Boris Vallejo art. And for some reason, three versions in, I switched to different Boris Vallejo art, which I think may be like the same scene, but a different person in it, because it's got that same background color. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Someone could look that up. But, uh, you know, I needed a bunch of night pictures, fantasy art night pictures, and uh, I found that one. So, uh, you may gain a card causing up to two. Each other player may reveal an attack card from his hand. Note that originally, all the cards, all the main cards said they, but when Jay published it, he changed those all to he, 
And so there's a period where the prototypes all say he before he came to his senses and now they all say, now the published cards all say they. Uh, but anyway, that's why this says he or his. Uh, trashes one, calls him three or six, and discards the other. So you could moat this one by revealing an attack card from your hand. And I mean, I don't know how that actually went. It was it was uh, more than a decade ago, right? It was uh, <laughs> it was a while ago. So then there's a version. Natalie gets up to, up to to gaining threes. Uh, then it's they may reveal a knight card from their hand. Then, then they, uh, if a knight is trashed by this, trash this card. So finally we've hit on the final form, even though there's still two more versions. And these last three versions just mess with the wording. It's like discards the top two and trashes one, reveals, then discards the top two and trashes one, reveals, trashes one, discards the rest. <laughs> uh, very minor things. And uh, yeah, so the knights, oh, and, and, this was another thing, too, that uh, in between this Sir Justin and Dame Natalie, all the knights, uh, I, I, let's say almost all the knights, got a more powerful ability, and somehow uh, Dame Natalie didn't, in fact, has a weaker ability. Instead of gaining a two to your hand, just gains a two. But they were all like plus one action, and it became plus two actions, plus one card, and it became plus two cards. Uh, because, uh, you know, because they needed that, right? They needed to be stronger. And, uh, yeah, in the end, all the knights are named after real people, but they're not named after just the first ten people to play Dominion, uh, whoever those were. Um, and uh, Dame Natalie, Dame Natalie is named after my daughter, Natalie. She, the artist, just actually decided to try to draw her as she would look as an adult. And given how Natalie looks now, I don't think it's so close. But it was nice that she tried, because the Dame Sylvie artist did not try. And Dame Sylvia just looks, you know, is just an utterly different person. Yeah, that was a thing. Some people, some of the people who are depicted decided they didn't want to be depicted, right? So, like, Dame Molly is just some art. It doesn't depict Molly. And some of them wanted to be depicted and sent me pictures, and they, they had varying degrees of success. Like, Sir Destry really looks like Destry, and uh, Sir Martin Dame Anna looked just like them. But, like, Sir Vander is far away with the helmet, and, like, man, I don't think this, I don't think this artist quite got what we were doing here. We wanted to know it was that person. <laughs> um, but know, such, such were things at the time, that that is just the art on the card. They didn't have to do another one. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, the knights are, are both adored and hated. I think for people who like attack cards... The knights are great. It's, you know, there's people who, who really enjoy it that, uh, you know, the whole thing, there's a little bit of flavor and there's the, you know, they're all different people. That's cool. And, uh, and then you get to, you know, smash cards out of your opponent's deck. And I've always, I've always been able to take it. Like, I guess I, I am less oppressed by attacks than a typical Dominion player. Uh, and, you know, you have to respond to, to what your audience wants. And there's people who really want attacks, and they, you have to do them for those people to get attacks. And it's really not such a rare thing among casual players, but they're also all the people who don't. And so the frequency of attacks has gone down, and the frequency of knights has gone down, because this is the one where it's really like, I can't believe you're, you know, I, I was building this deck, I can't believe you're allowed to destroy it. Whereas somehow giving them curses is fine. And, you know, that destroys your deck, too, but it, it just feels a lot different. Like, you still have everything you bought. Uh, that ends up, which ends up being the ideal attack, because it's just each other player gains a curse. It's very terse, so it leaves you tons of room on the card for what's special about this version. And it's, it's this attack that's so often compelling and uh, that everyone can deal with. I mean, there are people who hate witches, of course. But, yeah, the knights are way more controversial, and, uh, but I'm still happy to have done them. The end. Hey Bards, what do you have for us today? The pirate ship sailed out from port to plunder natives in their village. The islands offered cash and spades with treasures ripe to trash and pillage. Could magic make this ship retire? For years it lurched but never sank. Could second coming seaside be what made it walk the fateful plank? And now we see its voyage end. The sender failed. The beast was rough. Its flag was lowered one last time in tribute to the Dragon Puff.
Thank you, Shanahan, for that wonderful tribute to Pirate Ship.